Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a another September reading. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, we're just going to we're going to see what comes up. This is going to be a reading you and the other person. Now you pick a side, whichever one it is. Whichever one is you and whichever one is the other person. Think about a person, okay? And we'll go from there. So, this is geared for September. Okay, this reading is geared for September. So this is what I'm thinking, what I'm focusing on. But keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is being recorded in August, so it may resonate in August. But this is probably going to be for a, you know, time in September. So what do we got for Pisces and the person that they are thinking about? Okay, may not be the person you're with. I don't know. I don't know. Could be the person you're thinking about. Could be the person you're with. If it's the same person, I don't know. Let's see what we got here for Pisces. September. What do we got for Pisces? Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So this is, you know, maybe it's you, maybe it's the other person forgiving and learning from the past. It's releasing the past. And it's experience, experiencing more love right now by forgiving and releasing. So this could go both ways. It could go one way, whatever. Somebody is releasing, forgiving, and learning. Okay? Okay. So what do we got? Pisces. Justice. Woo. Fantastic. Justice. This is uh, getting what you deserve. This is a final, final decision. Finality. Okay. This is a card of truth. It's a card of integrity. It's a card of honesty. Something has been weighing very heavily and we're about to have some sort of finality to a situation that is going to bring balance back. Okay, whether this is you or the other person, this is um, bringing balance. This is getting what you deserve. Some sort of justice is being served. This is a final decision. Ooh, six of pentacles. This is, this is amazing over here. This is, this is a, a rejection of some sort. This is a rejection. This person is not giving to a situation. This is a one-sided situation. Somebody is no longer investing in something. And that may be the finality that you get. This person is giving up. No moving forward, okay? The the fool reversed and the six and it's going over here. The six of swords reversed. This is this is no more moving forward. This is this is something is Oh, this person may be very troubled over here. This person may be very troubled. This person is not giving. This person is reluctant to take a new approach. This person is acting naive. This person is um, unbalanced. This person is not balanced at all. Both of these sixes reversed. This person is definitely fearful in some way because the fool is reversed. This person is maybe restless. This person, um, doesn't take risks, put it that way. This person is very, this person seems to be sort of troubled. Reluctant to take any new approaches, reluctant to give anything to a situation. Hmm, we're going over here now. Let me make sure this is just down a little bit more. So let's go over on this side. Ooh, hey man. So this is sacrifice. Stalling, hung up on something. Trying to prove a point. 
We got somebody over here that is trying to prove something. Oh. Unable to release. Unwilling to change. This person is unwilling to change. Unwilling. And that, you could look those up and that's clear. This person has made a decision that I'm not changing anything. Nothing. Which has probably caused somebody to walk away. Or this person has walked away. This person is leaving behind emotional um, disappointment. It's like... I, goodbye. Goodbye. I'm not changing. I'm not changing anything. Saying goodbye. This is saying goodbye. Somebody saying goodbye. It's probably the right decision. I mean, this is the right decision. So somebody probably made a right decision. You know, you shouldn't have to change, right? I mean, come on now. So, um, this is unforgiving right here. <laughs> this is unforgiving. So this person is like, you know, whatever. Working together, teamwork, compromise, the three of pentacles. This person may be working with somebody else. Yikes! You okay? So this person it has has found some sort of strength within themselves to not reciprocate. It's like this person is very very independent. This person is gone cold. This person has gone completely cold. Completely, okay. Definitely. Okay, with the Queen of Queen of Swords, with the Queen of Cups reversed, this person has shut down their emotions. This person has found the strength to not communicate. This person has probably decided that I'm gonna I'm gonna work someplace else. But they have been reluctant to take a new approach. Probably there's been some sort of bitterness. There's been some sort of um resent. This person feels like they've been taken advantage of. <laughs> and so they've shut down. This person has shut down their emotions. This person has has found the strength and the confidence to you know, I think work with somebody else. This person is bitter. This person is bitter troubled. This person is the troubled person. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Leo. This person over here is very independent. This person has gained strength. This person has gone through a period of healing. This person um, has decided that they are not going to reciprocate at all. They have shut down emotionally. This person is very assertive. This person is probably... Um, definitely working with somebody else. Okay, let's go back over here. Woo! Woo! The tower! The tower! So this is a shake-up. This is, this is, the, this person's about to experience a disruption. I'm telling you what. This person is about to experience a disruption. Around the corner, somebody is about to leave. This is around the corner. Okay, this is around the corner. This is around the corner. So right around the corner. This hasn't happened yet. So keep that in mind. This has not happened yet. Somebody is about to leave because somebody refuses to change. The decision has been made. This person is sticking by the decision. I'm not changing nothing. And that's going to cause uh, some sort of upheaval. It's going to cause a disruption. Somebody's about to get a rude awakening. Their reluctance to change is going to cause somebody to say goodbye. Okay, this is holding on to a dead end. 
this person is like, you know what, this is a dead end. If you know, it's a false sense of security, it's a false foundation. Um, woo! Ah! So this person is about to experience a, an ending, probably a death of something. Okay, this is a death. This is a death as well. So this person is about to experience some sort of of life change. Okay, the, you, this is a life change, and this is a you, this is absolutely a life change. This is some sort. Something is going to be made final. It's over. It's finally over. This is about to crumble. It's about to crash. This person's been trying to prove a point. This person's saying goodbye. The decision is absolutely being made. So we have somebody here that is standing firm. This person is deciding not to communicate. This person has decided that, you know what? I feel like because this person is so firm in their decision that they are not going to change anything, that something is going to end. It's going to end. Okay. Something is going to end and it's going to end in a shocking manner. And I'm for this person over here, this person that is so stubborn. We have a very stubborn individual here. Okay. Who is reluctant to make any change, reluctant to release. Okay. The death card reversed. I'm not releasing. I'm not changing. Ha. Huh? And that is going to cause some sort of, of, this is karmic justice of some sort. This is, there's an ending here. Okay, there's an ending here. Somebody is saying goodbye to somebody that is very, very um, set in their ways. Somebody that is refusing to change. It's like this person is, I'm the boss and that's the way it goes. And there isn't, nobody can change this person's mind. And this person's mind is made up, so somebody's leaving. So this person is about to get a rude awakening because they are reluctant to you know, <laughs> accept change, okay, or to be held accountable. Whoo! Wow! So here we have, this is, this is whatever hasn't been shown, something below the surface is about to be seen. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth, but the truth is about to come out. Something that you don't see coming, Pisces, is about to be revealed, and it is going to be shocking. It is going to be shocking. So be prepared for some, This is an ending. But it's the ending of something that was very troublesome anyway. Okay, it's a painful ending. But it's also the end of suffering. So something is about to end, whether you like it or not. And this is universally driven. So for this person, this person that is very stubborn, you know, trying to prove a point, is about to ex experience somebody walking away for good. This person over here, this person over here has decided that they are not going to reciprocate. This person um, has found a lot of strength. This person has found a lot of confidence, you know, to heal. This person is turning their back on the troublesome situation, shutting down emotionally. This person has decided to work with somebody else. There's some element of sadness. Like I said, this person is very troubled. This person is having a hard time sleeping at night. This person is having regrets. This person um, may be having regrets for dealing with another person that they shouldn't have dealt with. They may have gotten involved in a third party situation. This person has been reluctant to move on and they have um, been very, very stressed over the whole situation. This person is probably socializing, dating, putting themselves out there. This person is um, probably starting... This person may be regretting getting themselves involved with another person. Okay, so we may have a, an affair or a third party situation here. This person may be feeling guilty. They might be sad that this person got involved in a third party situation. I don't know, but we definitely have some sort of bitterness and upset over a third party situation. But this person is also, you know... I think this person is dating. This person is socializing. Um, this person is not sleeping much. Um, 
this person is taking a less than traditional approach. This person is probably not looking for a commitment. This is the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus. This person is um, doesn't trust, doesn't have faith. This person is probably out just having fun. Oh my God! This person has shut down emotionally. There's no, there's like, there's no feelings left here. This person has gone, gone cold. So I feel like this person over here is, is probably trying to hide their pain, perhaps in some sort of. Um, there's definitely some pain over here. This person is trying to bury their emotions with um, other people. You know what I mean? They're trying to fill the void. I feel like this person is trying to fill the void. And I feel like they're shutting down emotionally. They're not really looking for love. They're, they may be looking to have some fun. But they aren't looking for love. Okay. Okay, so uh, the camera, the camera just shut itself off. So um, it appears that something is absolutely going to end out of the blue. Okay, there's no such thing as coincidence. You can call it a metaphor. You can call it whatever you want. It said my card was full. My memory card. My memory card. Okay, it was full. Well, let's see how it could have been full. I just formatted it like two days ago, but whatever, apparently my memory card was full. Time to reset, time to clear it out, time to start over. And that's what we got here, that's what we got here. I feel like we, we have one person over here that is no longer invested. We have, this person has done a lot of healing, but they're not completely healed. This person is no longer giving to the situation. This person is out having fun. They're not interested in any kind of commitment, any kind of relationship. They're not, their heart is not in it. Okay? But the king and, king and, the king and queen of cups uh, in reverse, their heart is not in it. Okay? Their heart is, is gone. Okay? Their heart is not in it. Over here, this person is about to get some sort of, <laughs> well, rude awakening that a final decision has been made. And I think the decision has been made. This person has, has been made, uh, that, you know, this person has, has been refusing to change. You could look up those two cards and that, that is what that is. I refuse. I refuse to change. I refuse to... This person's been resisting change. They've been resisting, you know, enlightenment. So, uh, you know, somebody is leaving. Somebody is walking away completely from this person that has made a decision and they are not budging so this because this person is so set in their ways they got a point to prove if that is what this is somebody's leaving it's like this person says okay you win you win you win you win this person is saying you win i don't want you anymore bye Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. And that's what's happening here. This person is going to be experiencing. I don't think love. I don't think this person's not looking for love. This person's out having fun. This person is celebrating. This person is like, you know what? I'm not looking for a commitment. I just want to have some fun. And they might not. They may be going out at night. Okay. Going out at night. They're losing sleep because, you know, they're out partying. They're out having fun. They're whatever. So as far as you and the other person goes, I have one person here that is not emotionally invested. They are socializing with others. <laughs> Working with other people. Especially at night. Okay. There's, there's night here. Okay, and this person is about to get a wake-up call. Good luck.